And uh, say what you want about Giuliani, who now is batshit crazy. Uh, what happened with him? I don't know. I something, think there's something blew a fuse. He's not respectable anymore. He's like some kind. Of, well, he aligned himself with Trump, so that immediately gets you put into a category. But Why he's also he a little. That? I think he's got some dementia going uh, on. Like yeah. he just doesn't seem right. Uh, you know what it is? Mm. Lost his comb over. That the, he had a comb over for what is uh, that like? Uh, what's he his name? He gave up with on the, the comb over and he realized, oh my god, I'm fucking yeah, crazy. Samson's hair. It's like that. <laughs> he he lost uh, the last wisps. <laughs> those last wisps of comb over. Yeah. That yeah, he that had Neil during nine eleven going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was uh, at one point. You know, after nine eleven, they called nine ten two thousand one. He was a piece of shit. Yeah. No one liked Giuliani. Yeah. He ruined New York. He ruined it by commercializing it, cleaning up all the porn theaters, uh, uh, getting rid of the tunnel bunnies and the squeegee guys. Like yep. he went on a tear, just gave the police department carte blanche to start racking head and taking care of business. It cleaned up New York. Times Square turned into a Disney type yeah. atmosphere yeah. instead of that drug addled fucking mess that it was. And, and people hated him for kind of ruining that gritty New York that we saw in Taxi Driver and shit. And then... 9-11, he was America's mayor. That's what they called him, yeah. America's mayor. He's going out of Yankee games and ovations and people. He's standing with the uh, there he yeah. is, comb See, over. He looks like a crazy person on the right. Yeah, yeah. He, he just uh, totally shaved his head. If I talk yeah. to him, I say, listen, bro, there's a lot of power in just shaving your just head. Just shave that head, motherfucker. Yeah, you feel good. You feel like a guy who has like hair on the side of his head, unless you do a lot of drugs like Hunter S. Thompson, it's hard to right, pull that right. off. You can't pull that off. <laughs> I think, yeah. Uh, who who pulls it off? Look at the upper right-hand side. That's a, that's a comb over in the beginning. No, yeah. Above that. Above that. Above that. To the right. <laughs> to the right with a suit. Look at that. Oh, that's, yeah. That's where it's first started. That's the full that's comb like over. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Jesus. That's working Jesus. it from the back. Like, hey, and what buddy. did he do? Did he try to get uh, <clears throat> plugs or something in the front? I don't think so. I don't know what that is. It's just, it's just rocking that full, strong comb over. That is... Uh, he uh, he had a lot to do with uh, the 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 um, getting rid of organized crime in yes. New York City, yeah. like the mafia, mm -hmm. the five families, all that shit was still running pretty rampant uh, throughout the 70s and 80s. Uh, as a kid, me and my brother used to laugh our asses off. We'd open the newspaper, and there was like, Johnny the Horse Bugliotti <laughs> was found dead and stuff. We would laugh our asses off at the names. Yeah. Like, uh, just those those mob names. It's it's hilarious. And that scene in Goodfellas at the beginning when they're just going through and, you know, the nose and killer and this guy. And yeah, they all yeah, had, yeah. have those fucking names that are names. hilarious. And, uh, yeah, Giuliani was a big part of that. I'm surprised they didn't kill him. Like, he was absolutely responsible he kept going after them and kept putting them away uh with the you know the new rico statutes that they yeah. had and uh locked up a lot of mobsters man so well you know another problem with the mobsters is they started ratting on each other yeah 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 as soon as you start ratting on each other all your mystique is gone your whole yeah. your whole legend is gone this is uh -huh. The whole thing is that you guys have omerta. You keep your fucking mouth shut. You do your time like a man. Right. And then you get out and you're a hero. And that, this whole thing keeps going. This thing of ours this keeps going. This thing of ours. But those fucking pussies didn't want to go to jail. Isn't that something <laughs> like the old school guys would be offered, you know, you could walk. Yep. Or you could get a really fuck easy you. sentence. Just talk. Oh, fuck your mother. Yeah. That, and, and, and then, yeah, it, it, they reach the point where it's like... Yeah, I, I, I'm not built for prison. No. But when they would put him in prison, though, it was like in Goodfellas. Right. They would be able to cook, and they, they paid the guards off. Yeah. They had a sweet setup. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the internet ruined all that, too. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you, uh... the internet. Well, it was probably all dead before the internet. But, but you know, like Sammy the Bull Gravano, he was free. Like, yeah. He did his time, the, the minimal amount of time. He killed at least 10 people. They I mean, Murdered I people. Murdered people. Yeah, yeah. And, they, he, and he confessed to them. You know, talked about the murders right. that he did and how he did them. He wanted Gotti so bad. They wanted yeah. Gotti so bad. I mean, Sammy the Bull Gravano was a fucking straight up psychopath. Yeah. A total serial killer. Yeah. And they let him walk. And then he got arrested eventually for selling ecstasy in Phoenix. He moved to huh. Phoenix after that. Yeah, yeah. And then he... Uh, he was running shit down there. And how did he just not get whacked out? Like what, what? the mob was gone. They all were gone. It, and no all one cared. Dissipated. It all it all crumbled. Isn't that something? Yeah. 
just like uh, yeah, poof, went away. Well, the thing, like Gotti, was the first one that was like real flashy in public about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, they Whereas, didn't like, like that. Vincent the Chin always used to walk around like a crazy person in the bathrobe, the bathrobe. pretending he was nuts. But he would he would give people directions while he was doing that. But he felt like everything was being bugged. So what they would do is they'd bug cars along his walking route, right? So they could record him. Oh, they that knew, is hilarious. They knew what he was doing. Jesus. There's always a way. Yeah. There's always a way to get you. Yeah, the mystique was gone, though. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't really... Like, the Russians still have the mystique. Russian mobsters... They are brutal, too. They're the scary ones. Like, they are the scary ones. Yeah, there's, they're there's the scary ones now. a worse mob... Because regardless of what it turned into, there was a time where the Italian mob did have a line. Like, you didn't mm -hmm. cross. Family, things like yeah. that. Uh, but the <laughs> Russians, oh my God, will they fuck up an entire family? Yeah. The dog, everything gets everything. killed yeah. in the worst way. Yeah, they're scary, scary motherfuckers. I had a, a an experience um, out. It was uh, Broadway, I guess, uh, and they have those pedal cabs that go around, and they're all Russian dudes, big fucking legs on them. And they pedal around, and I was looking for a cab, a real cab, to take me downtown. I wasn't gonna ride fifteen blocks in a. a tricycle uh, <laughs> with Yuri pedaling in front of me. So uh, this guy passed by once and said, you need the cab? I was like, no, I'm good. Thanks. Comes around again. I'm still waiting for a cab. And he goes, cab? And I was like, I'm not going to have you pedal me 15 fucking blocks. No. Move. And, and you could yell at a cab driver in New York. They'll yell out your window and stuff. They rarely will get out of their car. They know, you know, you got the medallion right there. You could just call the number and say you were being harassed by a cab driver so they won't do anything this guy gets off his fucking bike <sighs> you have a fucking problem <laughs> you have a fucking problem what and and i was just like oh shit it's going down <laughs> like I, I, this guy means business and of course i'm like nope no all good all good i, I thank you i don't need a, a cab you're right motherfuck and <laughs> that was it but you don't fuck with Russians. No, they're not regular white people. No, they're not. 